after one of the biggest, if not the biggest, WrestleMania of all times and an extremely controversial ending that got everybody all around the world in any promotion, any type of fan talking, the WWE has been sold. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, um, news came out this morning. Uh, I, I don't think it's like 100% official, but it's like 90, 95%. Because every news website is reporting it, everybody's talking about it everywhere, every YouTube channel such as myself wants to talk about it because it's huge, you know. The WWE is being sold, it's being bought by Endeavor, which uh, owns the UFC, so there would be a possible uh, merger between the two companies. There's a lot to talk about, okay, and I don't want to make a another one hour video because the two previous videos on my channel are an hour long almost. But it's huge, you know, when you think about it, the WWE's been this huge entity for for decades, you know. And now, from out of nowhere, it would be sold. And this would actually explain the result of last night's main event. So we'll we'll talk a bit about it. Um, if you haven't seen WrestleMania last night, spoiler alert. WrestleMania Night 2 main event, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. Um, for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Everything on the line, the time for Cody Rhodes to um, to fulfill his dream, you know, to complete the story. And he lost. And many people were, were first of all, furious. And they were just questioning the baby's decision, you know. Cody Rhodes was the guy that you could have be Roman Reigns. It was the time to finally take the titles off of Roman. And Cody Rhodes could have carried the company for the months to come. So Why? Why would you keep the titles on Roman Reigns, you know? For a third WrestleMania in a row, have him defeat whoever the champion is, or whoever the challenger is, and retain his titles. Why? Because the WWE is being sold, you know? And if you're buying the company, okay, if you're you're someone buying the WWE, you'd probably much rather go with someone as Roman Reigns, who brings a lot of money in, because all of the merchandise of either Roman Reigns, the Usos, or the Bloodline as a whole, sells extremely well okay they are the top sellers in the business um like it or not they bring reactions everybody talks about them the whole world is surrounded by them and even if cody was a great pick and i think he is and he could have carried the company and he would have been a great like face of wwe you still don't know if you're if you're buying the company you'd rather much go with the thing that is already working that you know is working well that people like other than something new, something fresh, that you don't know if it's if it's actually gonna go like the way you're expecting it to go. So, as a new buyer, you'd much rather go with a safe option, and then in the future, you know, explore new territories. I'm not saying I'm on board with this, okay? I, I made a shorts uh, video, okay? You can check my shorts channel in the description. I made a shorts talking uh, about this, and because it didn't make any sense to me, you know. Unlike on the creative side, it makes absolutely no sense on the like economical side it makes a lot of sense unfortunately okay i'm not on board with this but you gotta remember at the end of the day wwe is still a company they still gotta work they still gotta make money they still gotta earn to pay their taxes to pay their bills to pay their superstars their arenas everything you know so it was probably it, it in the situation that they're in currently it was probably the best decision um and I think as the months go by, and we get to see more of Roman Reigns of the Bloodline and of Cody Rhodes, the fans will slowly, you know, start to understand why this decision was made, you know. And that leaves the question of whether it will be Cody Rhodes that will take the title off of Reigns, maybe at SummerSlam, or they'll wait until next WrestleMania to possibly have The Rock finish the job. Um, you know, th th this is... Because if you're going to give it to Cody Rhodes, last night was the perfect moment. The whole crowd was behind him. The whole selling thing is a... You know, it, it comes into play. You you got to consider it. So yeah, I, leave comments, okay? Tell me what you guys think about it. Uh, it's a big situation. Would you have rather seen Cody Rhodes win? Probably. Or do you think that we, you know, made the right decision by keeping both championships on Roman Reigns at the moment as he is the safe option? Now, getting back to WWE actually being sold, um, it, it, it comes as, as a huge shocker, you know, not only to me, but probably to every wrestling fan out there. Because, like, for the past year, we've been hearing about it, about 
yeah, WWE might be sold, blah, blah, blah. But it, it never led to anything, you know. So many day, so many, um, so many names were thrown around, you know, Disney, NBC, uh, I don't know the others, but, <laughs> you know, you, you get it. So, like, just, you, you don't want to believe it because nothing it really happened. But now from out of nowhere, Endeavor, WWE's been sold and that's it, that's all, you know. Once again, I am not 100% sure that this is true. I think it's not, like, actually finalized. I think it will be announced uh, sooner. Well, soon, sorry. But it will be. I don't know if it's, like, officially been announced. Um, and, you know, I guess we'll have more answers tonight on Raw. Because I'm recording this on Monday, you know. Last night was WrestleMania. I'm putting posting this today. So tonight will be Raw. Uh, make sure to go check my shorts channel because this is where I'll upload like live updates and you'll be able to see quickly what I think of stuff and blah blah blah. And yeah, it's it's a big day for WWE. Tonight is the Raw after WrestleMania, so first of all, there might be a lot of surprises coming. Uh, wrestlers, former wrestlers from AEW, from the independent circuit, some returns such as Big E, such as Riddle. Orton is apparently not ready to come back, but you know, we can see a lot of people tonight. We, we just got to wait and see. Uh, will they actually talk about the whole sale and blah, blah, blah? Will Vince McMahon be there? Will Triple H be there? Well, they'll probably be in the building, but will they come out to the arena? Will they do a segment? Will they talk, etc.? We don't know. We have no clue. So this whole thing leaves a, a lot of questions, a lot of questions to be answered. And I don't, I unfortunately don't have all the answers. I wish I had all the answers, but I cannot just tell you all that's going on because I don't work for WWE. I love to, don't get me wrong, but I, I don't. I simply don't. Yeah, so patience, I guess, is the key word. Um, I don't want to waste too much of your time just talking about this whole thing. It's a huge shocker. I'll probably make another video this week, you know, when everything will be official, when we'll have more information about it. And, uh, you know, just to give you the full information to give you my thoughts on it to get like get your thoughts on it so make sure you comment tell me whatever you thought of not only wrestlemania but the sale and also what you think for tonight's monday night raw you know there's a lot going on in the business it's moving really fast really quickly but it's it's exciting as always because change change is, is cool sometimes it's a great thing you know well i'm saying change as roman rings and bianca Belair retain their titles i'm also not on board with bianca retaining i actually don't get that decision but that's that's a whole other story, okay? Um, yeah, not gonna waste too much of your time, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you like the video, comment whatever you thought about this, uh, subscribe and hit the little bell, you know, turn it to all notifications so that you get notified whenever I upload another of these videos, a gaming video, a music video, whatever. There's a lot of content coming to the channel in the next few months. It's gonna be awesome. A lot to talk about as WWE is on fire at the moment. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.